All right, folks, in this portion of the video, I'm going to show you how to update the BIOS of your ASRock Z490 Phantom Gaming 4 motherboard. Now, if you watch my videos, most of my BIOS updates are done through InstaFlash, which is uh, inside the BIOS. Uh, I download a file to a thumb drive, and then we'll uh, restart the computer, go into BIOS, and update the BIOS that way. In this video, I'm going to show you a different method that is uh, somewhat common but not uh, not always available on the cheaper motherboard so uh, not that this was cheap now so this BIOS update will happen in Windows alright so let's get started with it so what you need to do is type uh, ASRock Z490 Gaming 4 uh, in your internet browser in this case I'm using Google and the first hit or return is right here. So I'll click that. Now we want support that's in the middle, not the one at the top. So we'll click on that. Now, worth checking this out. A um, lot of stuff to find here. In a moment, we're going to go into the BIOS. But uh, in case you need a copy of your manual, PDF version, uh, you can obviously make this a lot bigger than uh, the one that's with the uh, motherboard CPU support list in here you'll see all the CPUs so Celeron G5900 to i9 10900K this eventually will get updated as uh, they get 11th gen I'm sure download in case you're missing some drivers uh, for whatever reason or you did not have your uh, CD-ROM DVD player attached to your computer and had to go uh, find the file somehow this is how you would get them um, and then sometimes you know there'll be updates so uh, it's worth checking this out to see updated versions most of these are at least a few months old though all right let's go into the BIOS now as I said there are two ways to do it with this motherboard. One's Instant Flash and the other's Windows. We're going to do the Windows version. There are some other BIOSes about, out there. This is the one that uh, first released. This is the one that came with the computer. And today is June 27, 2020. Now, if I um, grab this 1.50 uh, you'll always want to read the description to see what it contains. Most likely it will not tell you that you need to um, do any of the other BIOS updates before you do 1.50. And that's that's one thing to uh, keep an eye out for. So most of the time, and I'm going to say 99% of the time, it is okay to grab the latest BIOS version. Sometimes you'll see a note in here that may say must update uh, 1.35 before you can do 1.50. So just keep that in mind um, is there will be people that undoubtedly do this later. Uh, we might be on 2.0 or 1.99, whatever BIOS version. You'll want to actually read through these and, and just make sure that there was not one that you had to download. Now, for the most part, these are all cumulative. Uh, there'll be bug fixes in here. There will be uh, hardware compatibility issues that are resolved, etc. So, uh, and since this is new tech, you want to see these kind of things, right? Enhance system performance, improve memory compatibility. All right. So, from here, let's go ahead and click on Windows. We're going to actually get moving on this. And this is the process. Um, we're going to download a zip file. Then we're going to unzip it. We're going to click on this file here. It's going to ask us uh, before we update it, please close all applications. So we'll make sure we do that. Do you want to continue? OK. Yada, yada, yada. And eventually it will flash the BIOS for us. Now, at some point, I will switch over to a screensaver, and we will um, not be able to show that using, uh, let me rephrase that. 
I will switch over from a screen recorder to a cell phone because as this is doing the Insta Flash, all programs need to close. All right, so let's go back over here. That was basically the directions. Over here is where the file is. We're going to click on global. And then I'm going to do a uh, save as. So I'm going to click here. And under downloads, I've already created a folder to put this in. There's the 490 BIOS. And we're going to save it there. Now I'm going to go back and open the folder. I'm going to right click on my mouse, extract all, extract. And uh, there we go. So in a moment, this is the file we're going to uh, install. So I'm going to switch over to a camera now and uh, we'll pick it up there. All right. So there's our file. We're going to double click on it. We're going to say yes. Before update BIOS, please close all apps. So we've got a ton of windows open. We're going to close those. Hey, look, there's me. All right. So we've closed that. We're going to go ahead and close our um, OBS screen recorder that we're using. And what else do we have? I think whatever reason these guys are not wanting to close. Close already. Okay. We got one more to close. Close all. All right. So we've done that. Do you want to continue? I'm going to click OK. And you see what's going on here. It is doing some stuff. Okay. System is going to shut down. Are you ready? Hell yeah, we're ready, right? Huh? Thumbs up. You guys can see my reflection, I'm sure. And boom, shutting down. So hopefully this will go right into the BIOS and we will be happy campers. Let's see though. All right, so you see there, do not power off during UEFI update. I'm going to pause this till it gets closer to uh, say 80. All right, so we're picked back up. It shot, you know, it took a time getting to 80. And then it absolutely shot to 100%. So um, now, if all goes good, this thing will boot back up. And uh, hopefully we will not see a uh, blue screen error. Fingers crossed, right? You guys got your fingers crossed out there? There's a whole lot of that going on here, I'll tell you. Um, you know, updating the BIOS is a uh, can be nerve-wracking. Definitely, uh, here's my uh, things and times not to do it. If you're in the middle of a hurricane, if there's a tornado warning, if thunderstorms are around, if there's any chance you're going to have a loss of power, do not do a BIOS update, okay? Wait till another time. So it looks like uh, the mere fact that we've got this going on usually tells you it's all good, right? Because um, if you were to brick your motherboard, which can happen, and uh, boom, there's Windows, folks. So we have, we now have an updated BIOS. I'm going to pause this. All right, so if down here you type in uh, sys, you'll get system information, and we can go in here and see what I've got going on. So this is an i5-10400. And there is the new BIOS. So we're at P1.20, and this is a June 2020. Now, let's talk about why you would update your BIOS. So this is uh, the Z490 motherboard, and you know reasons why you would update your BIOS. Um, we've got this hardware here that uh, you know could potentially have issues with this new motherboard. We have hardware in the future that could have issues. You could have security updates. Uh, there could be bug fixes that uh, they're fixing with this. So really, you know, there's there's a lot of other reasons, but those are, in my opinion, the main three reasons why you'd update your BIOS. Now, there is risk involved, and if you have a, uh, a computer that's running very well, don't mess with the BIOS. Just, you know, leave it alone, and uh, you'll uh, have a happy motherboard that way. All right, well, hey, thanks for checking out the uh, the video. Please like, please subscribe.